Welcome to episode eight of the Microflush toilet training. This episode will teach about installing the access panel. The access panel is in the rear of the Microflush toilet. The maker must install seven to 10 centimeters of straw or banana leaves completely covering the digester floor. Next, we will install seven to 10 centimeters of rich, dark topsoil and about 200 to 500 earthworms in the digester. The earthworms can be added later through the straight chute bucket closer to when the toilet is starting to be used. The earthworms will multiply quickly in the digester. Existing digesters can be a, a source for future earthworms. Some farmers can be encouraged to grow earthworms to meet the demand. The earthworms can be found under rotting fruit, compost, and trash piles and near wet areas near a river or stream. The microflush toilet will not work without adding the earthworms. The access panel is a poured slab of concrete with iron rods for strength, two handles for easier lifting, and a 25 centimeter standard vent pipe base that is secured in the poured concrete. The vent pipe should be clear of any obstructions for airflow out of the digester chamber. The access panel is lifted into place using the handles. The access panel needs a couple of days to be strong and dry enough to move into place. The next step will be to mix up cement that will be used to lightly fill the crack on the access panel. And then the next job is to seal the, the crack between the access panel and the user interface slab. And once the access panel is secured, we will want to put cement on the edges to seal the, the access panel to the digester walls. We will also seal the user interface slab to the digester walls. Just make sure that the cement that you put on the access panel is thin enough that later on it can be broken to remove the access panel to, to harvest the compost in two or three years. So at this point, we will have sealed all the cracks. The next task is to completely fill around the digester and the soak pit so that there is no presence of the soak pit because we have the layer of rocks and smaller stones. We have the plastic and then it's filled full of soil that was dug out of the soak pit. And then we want to wet down the area around the digester and compact the soil so that the soil is strong and will not cave in later, but it slowly has the compaction to keep the digester nice and secure when the walls and the superstructure are being built. Once the soak pit is finished and filled in, we will start the superstructure. We will have to attach a vent pipe that goes from the access panel to the roof line, and we want it to, to go beyond the roof line so that the air is venting out. There are no flies, no smell, no mosquitoes because the earthworms are breaking down the human waste into compost. The vent is an exhaust. Thank you for watching episode 8 to learn about installing the access panel for the microflush toilet.